Hey everybody and welcome to Into the Breach. This is a game that has just come out. It is made by the same people who made FTL Faster Than Light. If you remember that game, it's awesome and you should play it. In fact, if you buy Into the Breach on Steam, you get a copy of FTL for free. <clears throat> Vec Threat Unstoppable. Mission failed. Open a breach. Time to go back and try again. So we can change the, the time traveler. Okay, eventually we could. So this is... We're going to start on normal difficulty. Just because... This is our starting loadout. To give you a quick... A, a very brief summary of this game. There are insect invaders that are coming to destroy the earth. They're called the Vec. We are controlling an elite mech fighting force, and we must stop them. It's a turn-based strategy game. These carpet islands are the Vec's breeding ground. I did not manage to read all that. Archive Inc. Head Office. We're, all, we're doing all we can to protect the refugees, but we need your help against the VEC. We'll assist with some of our old Earth artifacts if we can. There's combat simulation available to get commanders up to speed with mechanized combat. Would you like to launch this simulation? Um, you know, we're going to do it just because I want to get the hang of this. Even though I've watched it being played a little bit already. Now, this is the power grid. When a building is damaged, it will be reduced. If it's reduced to zero, you lose. That is our health. Enemy attacks. Enemy attacks are forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the building. Over an enemy to see the details about its attack. So it's showing you that it's going to attack that. It's going to deal one damage, and the one that is flashing is going to be destroyed. Combat mech. This is our combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Click your mech to move it closer to the enemy and punch him. So we're going to move. We can then choose to punch. Oh, bam! Our mech's punch pushed this unit. It will now attack a new location. Pushes can save buildings from enemy attacks or even make enemies attack each other. So there are two main weapon effects. There's pushing, which is indicated by an arrow. There is damage, which is indicated by a number. And you can, in fact, combo them up. End turn. When all our mechs have we hit end turn. So it is then going to perform the attack. So when all your mechs have used all your actions, or there is nothing left for your units to do, press this to end your turn. And our enemies do their thing. Uh oh. Ah, we've gotten a tank mech. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another object. Boom. Killed him and knocked that out of the way. I'm just going to punch you. No need to worry about that. So what are these guys going to do? Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but, can sh but cannot shoot adjacent tiles. So we can't shoot right next to us, but... You know that the, this artillery max weapon only damages units in the center and pushes the other ones back. So it seems to me the correct answer is shoot this as it kills those two. Yep, drowning units. This unit fell into the water, killing it instantly. And we punched you to death. Let me go ahead and move this guy right here. I don't want to move it too far because I still want it to be able to reach. You still have units that can act. There's nothing for him to do. All right. You win by defeating the Vec or fighting them until they retreat. Bonus objectives. Missions also have bonus objectives. Completing these will earn you additional resources after the battle. Alright, so...
This guy's only attacking a specific square. This is not going to be nearly as efficient as it could be. Mostly because I can't actually punch anything. I mean, I could, well, I could punch this and kill it. I still have this, though. So I could kill this. I mean, I could just... Whoops. Okay, I need to select you. I accidentally hit Q. Alright, that's all we got. These guys attack nothing. Alright, so we're going to come over here and we're going to shoot you. It doesn't really matter because we kill you on the punch, but I think we can still punch you into buildings. That leaves one enemy left. And then it doesn't much matter. It is worth noting that we can, in fact... can push our own units out of the way. For some reason I didn't want to shoot without moving. And we win. Perfect victory! It's a tutorial. I kind of expect that. Yay! Congratulations on your first successful mission, Commander. I'm confident in your ability to save the planet after such an, after such extensive training. So, a power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The vet caused damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Mission rewards. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Power cores seem really good. Grid power is basically gaining health, overall health, and corporate reputation is used to purchase items once the island is secure. Missions with more potential rewards have additional dangers. So we might as well, I think... Oh, we have to pick one of these? Well, we pick this one. Clearly, that's just a rep, whereas we can get a rep... So if we block Vex spawning three times and protect the coal plant, that instant. Okay, so we want to kill this guy. So I, I do know a little bit about some of these, like this guy's buffing these guys, so I want him dead. So if we do this... So I'm thinking our first, our first, oh, these, wait, these guys move and do stuff first. Yeah, they're going to do stupid. So we have to try and block these three times. We can, we can do that either by standing on them ourselves Oh, okay. It, let, let's read it. It's going to tell us. This enemy scion provides a passive bonus to all back. Killing it removes the bonus. Select the scion and mouse over its portrait in the bottom left for more information. So it, it moves two. It's flying, so it can fly over any tile. And it's on the forest, so the tile will light on fire when damaged, posing great risk to this unit. 
And also, all other vec receive plus one health as long as the sign is living. I'm using this to block a spawn. This will not kill it, but... Oh, I have made mistakes. We can't get around. I wanted to get around and shoot this way. So we can reset the turn, but we can only do it once. Alright, I need to stop this guy. How can I stop this guy? So, this is the only thing that's actually in any danger. So, I could actually kill it by punching it into my own mech. You know what? Let's do it. Pushing into objects. Pushing into objects deals one additional damage to both. In this case, the extra damage killed the unit. So, my goal here... I want to block these spawns, but the thing is I can't actually... Move, like, I want to move this one here, but I can't because I'll push this. So instead, I'm doing this. I can do this and shoot them into each other. That forest is burning. I do need to take some time to block these. He's probably going to attack. Oh, that's right. The burning forest. It sets things on fire, which is bad. So we've got three, we've got two things that are threatened here. We are going to, we've got a good plan. He's blocking that spawn. He's going to kill him. He's dead. I don't know if that's good, because I think he's going to come over here, which we don't actually want. But we're going to find out. Okay, we've only got one. Okay, we've got three blockage points now. Dang it. He's shooting in a straight line. Okay, we need to take care of him. So we're blocking a point here. Unfortunately, this is all I can really do here. I can't deal damage to him. I think I don't think we're going to get another spawn point is the problem. So we're not going to be able to, to get this, which is unfortunate. Um, he's going to take two damage. So 
So if we, well, here, one sec, let's undo this move. Yes, he's been webbed, he can't move. Okay. Whoops, we don't want that. We just want to shoot from there. He's gonna take some, oh, wait, does the web not deal damage? Oh, we did it. We didn't get the bonus objective. I don't know if there was would have been a good way to do it. But we got some power, which is good. And we protected civilians. So we want to get into these. Because rep seems good and our health is also good. So these volatile vex detonate on death. Oh god, drive it away for safety's sake. Don't let it explode. Do not kill the volatile vex. All right, that's the volatile vac. Okay. I don't know if this is a good way to do it, but back line, front line, side line. Okay, we don't see we don't even care about that. So we do not want to kill the volatile vac. So we shoot it away. I kind of want to keep that alive is the funny thing. He takes extra damage and then the thing popping up kills it. Basically it's this guy's job to keep him in check. It was just reminding us it deals extra damage. Oh, fine. The spawn happened second. I actually can't stop him. I wasn't expecting him to attack this. I don't have any way of dealing with this. I need to shoot here. That sucks. the order enemies emerge so yeah we're losing a building here um to go there to block there's nowhere that I want to fire this I just I want to be over here so I can manhandle him Yep. 
If we protect the coal plant, we end up neutral. Yeah, see, now I can manhandle him. he tries to attack, I can push him off. You're getting killed. Do I want to leave you there? I think so. We can block a Vex spawning. Which is as good as killing one. <laughs> you got yourself killed. lose one building which was a shame it was a tragedy but we got both of our bonus objectives so it kind of countered that there's a lot of unused space in this region's nature preserves we begin we'll begin moving refugees here now the vec are gone oh wow he's a 24 out of 25 experience 10 out of 25 5 out of 20. he gets extra if we look at him but Defeat, defend the train, defend the satellite launch. Let's do this one. Oh, Jesus. Let's do it. I love how fast this loads. Pod coming in hot. Those pods look like an old space capsule, but I don't recognize the ally. How unusual. This pod contains equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of the battle. Alright, so... He's attacking first. Um, no, we don't want to do that. We want you to come here and fire there. can't do that. I don't want to do that either. That locks me in to being somewhere I don't want to be. We're going to have to deal with this. Yeah, I figured as much. What is that? Oh wait, so this this can be attacked, huh? Well, this makes the most sense to me. So this will get this will get hit.
and then it'll die. But that defends it. We'll block that spawn. So this is gonna get hit, but it doesn't matter because it'll survive. It launches and murder. Oh no, that it kills that. I forgot about that. That's my bad. I could have gotten that. Oh well, I just. I forgot that that would... It's Skull and Crossbones. That's... Alright. Well... This is... Oh, never mind, you die. We can't push you. Ah, oh, crap! Fuck. I didn't think about that. I could have reset the turn, but it's my own fault. This, let, we've let this get a little out of hand. Problem is he can't take another hit. However... Yeah, this is all bad. There are three things under threat, and we can only deal with two of them. Shit. So there's a chance that things won't take damage, but... The problem is he's, he's taken so much damage. Because... We could, we could take damage with this unit, but it doesn't solve the problem. I don't, see, he can walk in water, so I presume... Okay, mechs cannot use their weapons while standing in water. So we could push him into the water. There's no way to there's no way to solve this. We can prevent one of these from getting killed, but that's it. Or wait, did they take fire damage first? Fire damage goes first. We're golden. We're golden, everybody. We're golden. You shoot this. He dies to fire. He dies to fire. He's not on fire. Doesn't matter to me. And then he's gonna die to fire. They all die. The missile launches. And we're golden. It's a real shame we didn't protect the time pod, but... When I saw a skull and crossbones, my brain went, it will kill something. A pod is not dead. It's not alive, so it can't be killed. I've dreamed of launching those satellites into space my entire life. It's amazing to see older technology still serving its purpose. Corporation reputation. As you secure regions and complete bonus objectives, your reputation with the local corporation will increase. You can spend 
Reputation on supplies at the end of the island. So this lets us... We can put this somewhere. So if we wanted to, we could technically unpower this, but we don't want to unpower it. Could I use this in another timeline? Yep, gain experience to unlock this skill. So we're going to give him plus one move. We could give him plus three health. But I think I want the move. I want the move. These guys just don't have anything else yet. Chronology Hall, man. Diesel trains may be old-fashioned by today's standard, but old Horus here is going strong. He's vital to our supply lines. I'm putting him here. Because that way I can get... Actually, I want him here. I can get to a whole bunch of different places that will let me try and manhandle this area. Of course, we want him in front and him in front as well. Hostiles detected. So this is exactly where we want to be. It's going to push him, but that doesn't actually matter. Drown that one. Unfortunately, like we can manhandle this one. We can we can kill it between these two. It's just What does that do? Does it deal damage? I'm actually going to go ahead and block this spawn and kill that one. Oh my. Okay, one sec, we gotta reset the turn. I forgot this guy can't go here. Actually, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. We cannot protect this train. This is literally the worst possible place for this to have gone. There's nothing we can do. I can shoot the train, and that's it. Are you fucking kidding me? I did not predict this as a thing he could do. So that kills the train. We have failed. Because he can't fire from there. Son of a bitch. There's just nothing we can do. Ah! Uh, this is hot. This is normal mode. That is like the smartest possible play. Clearly. Very clearly. We, we got. We, like, there's. Uh, there's nothing I can do. We even have plus one movement on him. He's only got three movement. So we can get to there. This. That fucking thing. Also that building right there. Well, might as well get some experience. It's gonna die, it's gonna die by my fucking hand.
Okay, so... Fine, there's technically two options. I didn't realize we could split it in half. Why? Are you just dumb? Alright, so there are currently three threats on the train. There are currently three threats. I can remove two of them. I don't have to worry about him. He's he's fine. I don't know what happens if the train hits this dude. So let's think here. solve any problems. Well, it gets in the way of that, and I can punch him out of the way. That actually effectively deals with that problem. Oh, no, no! What? Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't realize that's how that worked. I can't undo this character's move because this character has already moved, and I understand why that could be relevant, but it's fucking us, so... That's dumb. Ah, that's... Oh, come on, and we used our reset. Train is fine. I think it's gonna die. Okay, we won. Kind of. Take more of the old Vec to stop Horus. Move him back on his feet in no time. Okay, we don't get to do anything else. Destroy the Hornet Leader and protect the Corporate Tower. Some kind of Vec abomination is approaching our headquarters, whatever it is, must be stopped. I mean, we don't have a choice. That is an abomination. Alright, we're gonna put you there. We're gonna put you here. And you over here. We're probably going to have problems anyway, moving these guys back and forth. Okay. We need to kill this. Which means we need to really hit it for damage. Okay. When confronted with new enemies, be sure to learn about their abilities. Hold down left control while mousing over them to examine. 
can walk in water, but water will prevent shooting. Is flying and is the hive leader the most powerful vac immune to water? They can be more challenging to kill. All right, so okay, I've got a plan. We're gonna punch you. Dealing two damage. Okay. We'll take that two damage. The two damage is not great for us, but we can kill it like real easily. Yeah, he's dead. That's fantastic. This is a problem. A lot of this is a problem. But this is not. Mission accomplished. There's gonna be some damage taken here, but that's okay. Our health is a resource. don't want to be over here with this person and that's going to cause us some problems. Like, we're, we're losing this building and I can't... Oh no, I can't stop it. What order are things attacking in? Darn. This is going to die. Level up! Okay, everybody's at one health. This is going to lower our ability to make decisions. attacking happening. Okay, so that's going to attack that. So if I can deal one damage to this, he'll kill him. Unless... We don't have to kill anything, we just have to protect everything. That is using our health as a resource right there. Just enough to not die. Nice. With the Vec Abomination destroyed, no new hive should appear on our island. You've saved us. And another promotion. One mech move, very nice. Island secure, oh, I'm not, oh. There we go. Now we're capturing steam stuff. Yep, 
Oh, whoopsie, that's Tilda. That is the first island, so let's spend our reputation. Oh my. You can buy a reactor core. You can buy a grid power. Donate weapons and pilots for reputation. Yeah, no. Okay, so we've got the repair drop. Heal all player units, including disabled mechs. Interesting. I don't, that's any class weapon. It's a support class. Freeze the tile in front, but light the tile behind on fire. A heat converter. Interesting. Brute class does more damage to targets that are further away. Okay. Light tank. Deploy a small tank to help in combat. I like that a lot. Required power is two, though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, maybe we just get a reactor core. And some grid power? I think we take a reactor core. Wait, can I buy more than one? So yeah, these... This seems really good. Okay, so we can use it once per battle. I don't know what freezing does, but I think it locks them up. We could just take a grid power, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because I kind of traded one in. So we can install another core. So I could give him a dash. We could make buildings immune to our shot. That seems really good. Oops. The plus two damage seems really nice. Um, we could add damage to the Taurus cannon. Oh, uh, no, we can't because we can only add one power. We've got one. I think we're gonna wait. Because we'd, we'd have, instead of the plus move, we'd have the dash. That seems like the most versatile thing. We can also drop that right there. The tank, the thing is it takes a turn to use, I'm sure. Which means that, see the artillery is probably almost always gonna use, no, well, maybe not. Maybe the artillery is, no, the tank is the one we've, we've had stand by the most. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, I'm not gonna spend the last power uh, the, the last reactor core. I'm gonna save it. Maybe. Maybe I will just install it on... I mean, he's so good. That extra two experience per kill makes him so good. And if we can ever get to this plus two damage, it'll be insane. Although I'm sure we're gonna be fighting stronger back here eventually. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. But until then, keep your gears turning.